Hi right, guys, welcome back to the workshop. I'm Nick Reeves. This is my boy Ewan. Sorry for the laughter, but it's several takes later of trying to get this one video done. In this video, as the title says, we're going to be making a wing rack, or trying to make a wing rack, um, using scrap materials or leftover materials from fitting out the workshop. The workshop fit out is just about done now, apart from a little bit more insulation on the doors. Um, and we've got some material left over and some scrap pieces which can be made good. Um, the wing rack I had in the previous workshop served a purpose but it wasn't really thought out that well. It was done in a brush. Uh, I've had a fair while now to think about this wing rack, um, probably over 15 years. Um, it's going to be bigger, stronger, be able to carry more wings um, and it's going to be made to fit in a certain space which I'll show you just now. So the wing rack is going to go somewhere there because this door is probably never going to be opened again in any hurry. Um, I haven't sealed it off totally. Um, it's basically just taped off at the top, at the top, somewhere at the top there where my finger's pointing. Um, so it'll be able to be opened up within 10 minutes if need be. The wing rack is going to stand in the middle of it and it's going to have a couple of screws just in the woodwork at the top just to support it but it should be a freestanding unit uh, and to give you a bearings it's just in relation to the workbench here um, it's going to utilize that space uh, and eventually we're going to have models hanging up here as well but yeah as i said it's going to be made from uh, scraps and leftovers uh, and i'll try and film all the steps as we go so let's get on with it Take the chops all out. So that's going to be the uprights. Um, there's going to be some of this material, which is probably 15mm by 80mm pine. So the width of these cross members at the back is going to be 20 inches, 500 mil fish. So we've got the top, one midway, one at the bottom. Okay, so we've got five pieces now, the right width for the, uh, the rack. So they'll be this way. Three for the upright section and two for the base stroke foot section. So they're going to keep it strong, the upright, should we say, in the legs. What I want to do now is cut some pieces that are going to reinforce the uh, joint between the upright and the foot because it's only going to be a butt joint on the 2x2 two two. Um, so I might well use some of that more of that pine 
but I need to do some test cuts to see what it's going to come out like. Okay, so we've got, I think, most of the parts cut now for the initial assembly. Um, the one thing we haven't got cut yet, which I've just thought of, is the legs, um, like the horizontal legs. But we've got some material there which we can cut, and we'll do that just shortly. Um, I'll show you what we've got. So, these are the cross members, five of them. Uh, there's going to be three at the back, two across the base. We've got these cut pieces, which are going to be something like that, as upright, uh, it's not really showing it the right way around here, hold on. It's going to be like that. So you'll have your base piece and your upright, there's just going to be a reinforcing of that joint. Um, then we've got our two uprights here. These are going to have the holes drilled in them with a 14mm drill bit. 14 or 15mm, which I can't remember what size it is. 14mm, because uh, we're using 14mm dowel. Um, this piece is only a short piece, this is just for testing. Um, what I want to do as well is on the uprights, I want to put, I want to make sure this dowel is sitting like at a like an angle to it, so that it's not square like that. I want it exaggerated like at an angle. So what I've done is I've made this little jig. This is going to be clamped into the pillar drill, and then if this was our 50 by 50 leg, it'll sit in. Let's do it that way. It'll sit in the jig like that. And as you can see, it's not going to be level. And then when we drill in the top that's going to be slightly off which will in turn give us a slight upward angle on the uh, on the dowels. It's not going to be much but it's going to allow for um, the dowels to bend a little bit because they are made of wood and it's going to allow the wings to not slide off. Obviously this is the wrong angle, it's going to, the wings are going to be coming in this way and sitting on them so it's going to help prevent the wings sli no, potentially sliding off. So the next step is going to be drilling and countersinking the leg support pieces, the cross members and drilling the 14mm holes in the uprights. Um, so we're going to crack on with that just now. Okay, so that's all the countersinking done. Um, what we're going to do now is set up the pillar drill for drilling the dowel holes in the upright legs. Um, we'll just put to measure off where we want these holes to be. Onwards and upwards. Right, so they're all marked off on five inch spacings, so the dowel will be five inches apart, height wise. Um, what we need to do now is set up the jig that I've made with the pillar drill, do some test drilling. Because I want to get the depth right, so we only go so far, and get the angle right and just get all positioned. Okay, so the jig's all set up. Um, the top of this piece of wood is going to be at this end. 
so we get an angle that way exaggerated on the piece of upright. The depth has been set so that the bottom stop, that's as far as we want to go. And I've done a test piece just to make sure it all works. So what we need now is the actual pieces of wood to do some drilling. Okay, so that's all the holes drilled in the upright. Um, that went really well, really quick, just with a bit of time saving with the jig. Um, I haven't actually counted up how many wings we can get on there yet, but it's going to be quite a few, probably 15 if I look at it. Um, so now, turning towards looking at the legs and starting an assembly, um, I'll show you what we've got. What we've got here right now, these are the two legs. So the uprights are going to come from here. The X is showing the top surface of the legs. So if we can imagine they're going to be like this. Spread out like that. And then there's going to be a piece like that. Supporting the upright. So what we can do is we can actually fix these pieces and these pieces onto each leg. To make sure they're all squared up. Right, so in these pictures that uh, I'm showing you just now, um, again the camera battery went flat, um, you can see how the, the legs went together um, using the cross members. Um, it's all fairly simple and I could see how it's going to go together from the start. Um, but it turned out a bit more over-engineered over than what I thought. Um, and then it's been put in place here. Um, it is a wing rack, but as you can see right now, it's got more than just wings on it. 
Um, we've got four models on here plus one wing. I think there's 15 positions in this. No, different wings can go in. Um, and I think I've done it just about right, so the top one will actually clear over the, the garage door runners. Um, it's turned out not bad for basically using scrap materials. Um, certainly better engineered than the last one, and it should last longer as well. Um, the dowels themselves I haven't actually glued in, they're just for friction fit in, so if need be I can actually take them out to increase the gap if I've got something bigger that I want to put in there. Um, yeah, it's turned out pretty well. If this is the sort of thing that you're looking to build, put a comment below, I'll try and answer them, any questions that you have. Um, total cost for this was about 20 quid just for the doweling. Everything else was scrapped from the workshop build. Um, yeah, I think it's going to serve a really good purpose. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you're watching this and you're not already, please subscribe. Uh, as I said before, any comments below, they're all read. Um, until next time, catch you later.